I define respect in my classroom as treating others the way that you want to be treated. I try to give that off to my students by letting them know that we need to have nice hands, we need to treat others the way that you would want to be treated, and just making sure that they know the rules in my classroom. Um, respect in my class is, is defined by our actions and, and the different ways it can be demonstrated um, through the words that we say, through the choices that we make, um, whether it applies to our class rules or just behavior expectations for group work or class work. Respect is seeing the value in others and treating them as such. I want to make sure that every student in my classroom knows that they're valuable and that they're being treated in such a manner. So when we have situations where a student might be antagonizing or teasing another student, we want to be able to say, is this how you treat somebody of value? No, that's not. So how would we treat somebody that we consider valuable? And we do that integrated through the day because it's needed throughout the day. It's not necessarily just one thing you do at one time or another. Respect in the classroom is obviously respecting the materials, respecting the environment, uh, respecting the teacher, which all teachers like. Um, but mostly to me, I care about students respecting themselves and each other. Respect is knowing how to appropriately value the other person. So respecting somebody is finding equal or greater value in the other person and treating them like they have at least equal value as you do. So um, that leads to the other aspect, which is empathy. And the way that I can really know how to respectfully engage with another person is to know how to put myself into their shoes, to know how to feel what they're feeling, to know how when I say something to the other person, how are they gonna take that? How are they gonna accept that? And how, are they, how might I react to that if I did that to them? Respect in the classroom is not everybody's going to be your best friend. You're not always going to be happy with the person that you're working with or sitting next to, but you always have to be respectful. I guess treating people the way I would like to be treated. You know, I would like to be treated with kindness and fairness and 